Hello and welcome to today's video. In the midst of experiencing the world and our daily lives, there is a mysterious phenomenon that most people have encountered at least once, deja vu. What makes us feel like we've lived through a situation or been to a place before, even though in reality we've never actually done it? In this video, we will delve deeper into the phenomenon of deja vu, explore its causes and theories, and attempt to unravel some long-standing questions. Let's embark on a journey into the enigmatic world of deja vu and discover the marvels of the human mind. Deja vu is a sensation where a person feels they have lived through a particular circumstance in the past. The literal translation of this phrase is already seen. While some explanations of deja vu lean towards the mystical, mainstream science largely dismisses explanations like premonition or clairvoyance. Those who have experienced this feeling describe it as an incredibly familiar sensation regarding a particular event or situation. Although, in reality, that situation has never occurred in the past or hasn't appeared in dreams. For example, you might be touring a scenic spot, and suddenly you feel like you've been there before. Or perhaps you're dining with a group of friends, discussing a certain story, and at that moment, you get the feeling that you've gone through this and it all seems very familiar. Now, let's delve into the world of scientific research and how scientists have endeavored to understanding deja vu more deeply. Numerous studies have been conducted to pinpoint the cause and mechanisms behind deja vu. Scientists have harnessed cutting-edge brain imaging technology to monitor brain activity while participants experience deja vu. By using brain scanners and analyzing data from different brain regions, they have unearthed that the similarity in brain activity can contribute to the sensations of deja vu. Areas of the brain associated with information processing and memory recall can activate simultaneously, creating the impression that you've encountered this before. Casual Factors of Deja Vu Number 1. Minor Brain Circuit Malfunctions By employing brain scans and analyzing data from different regions of the brain, they have discovered that deja vu occurs when your brain experiences a glitch akin to a brief hiccup, much like what happens in a seizure. In other words, it can happen when the part of your brain responsible for processing current events and the part responsible for recollection of memories are both active simultaneously. Your brain misinterprets what's happening in the present as something that has already occurred. This type of brain malfunction is usually not concerning unless it happens frequently. Some experts believe that another form of brain glitch can also trigger deja vu. When your brain receives information, it usually follows a specific route from short-term storage to long-term memory. The hypothesis suggests that sometimes short-term memory might become a shortcut to long-term memory storage. This could make you feel like you're recalling a more extended memory than something that happened just seconds ago. Another hypothesis provides an explanation involving delayed information processing. When you observe something, the information you receive through your senses is transmitted to your brain through two separate pathways. One of these pathways conveys information to your brain a little faster than the other. This delay, while minuscule, can lead your brain to misinterpret the single event as two separate experiences. Number 2. Split Perception The split perception hypothesis posits that deja vu occurs when you see something at two different times. The first time you see it, you might be somewhat distracted. Your brain may begin forming a memory of what you're seeing, even with limited information from the brief glance. If the first time you saw something didn't fully capture your attention, such as a hillside scene, the next time you encounter it, you might believe you're seeing it for the first time. Your brain recalls the previous time, even when you weren't entirely conscious of what you were observing. Therefore, you experience deja vu. Number 3. Memory Recall Many experts believe that deja vu relates to how you process and recall memories. Deja vu can occur in response to a similar event that you may have experienced in childhood but no longer remember for some reason. Even though you can't recall it, your brain still recognizes the familiarity of the situation. This implicit memory process leads to a strange sense of recognition. If you can recall a similar memory, you can connect the two, and deja vu might not occur. This often happens when you see a particular scene, such as inside a building or a panoramic landscape, very similar to one you can't remember. 
you may have experienced this on your own. Many people report that experiencing deja vu triggers a strong belief that they know what will happen next. However, when you're confronted that you can predict what you're about to see or experience, you often can't. This hypothesis relies on the idea that people tend to experience a sense of familiarity when they encounter a scene that shares similarities with something they've already seen before. This experience can also be due to dreaming about something previously, even if you can't remember it. When you get excited about meeting an old friend, get anxious about an upcoming test, or mumble a specific line, you're creating familiar moments from your brain. By the time that event randomly repeats in reality, you'll feel like it's already familiar. Other Cases of Deja Vu Researchers have also identified specific factors that influence the occurrence of deja vu experiences. Age Deja vu is most commonly experienced by younger individuals and is less frequent in older individuals. Socioeconomic Status Some studies suggest that deja vu is more common in individuals with higher socioeconomic status or higher levels of education. Travel Frequency Those who frequently travel are more likely to experience deja vu. Stress Levels Many studies have shown that deja vu is more common when individuals are fatigued or stressed. Medication A 2001 study discovered a case of a healthy 39-year-old man who experienced frequent deja vu when using amantadine and phenylpropanolamine to treat the flu. One of the most popular theories regarding deja vu is the past life theory. According to this theory, deja vu may result from you having experienced a similar event in a past life. And when you encounter it again in this life, you feel a sense of familiarity. This is an intriguing spiritual perspective. Another theory relates to the concept of time and space. According to this theory, deja vu may occur when we perceive a future time or a spatial location before we actually arrive there. This creates a temporal or spatial overlap, making us feel like we've experienced it before. Many philosophers have presented unique viewpoints on deja vu. They discuss how this phenomenon may be related to the human spirit and consciousness and whether it can help us gain a deeper understanding of the nature of reality and perception. Deja vu shows us that the human mind is a world of wonders and there is still much that we do not understand. This serves as a reminder of the complexity and diversity of our consciousness and perception. While this phenomenon may be one of life's mysteries, we continue to strive to gain a better understanding of it. Lastly, we want to hear from you. Have you experienced deja vu? Do you have any personal theories or opinions about this phenomenon? Please share them with us in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to continue exploring other fascinating psychological and scientific phenomena. Thank you for watching our video and keep exploring the enigmatic world of deja vu with us.